Hi, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, welcome to my vlog. My name is Todd. In the next couple days, I'm going to be having open heart surgery and I'm going to have a uh, pulmonary valve replacement procedure done. Um, when I was a baby, I had a congenital heart defect. Uh, the pulmonary valve I had didn't work that well, and the awesome doctors at Johns Hopkins Children's Center had performed open heart surgery and removed my pulmonary valve. What does that mean? Um, if you look inside the heart, there is a couple different chambers that do the pumping and pump the blood around. Um, in the right ventricle, as it contracts, it pumps blood to the lungs to get oxygen. Now, it has to go through a little doorway, and basically the pulmonary valve acts as the door. So as the blood goes through this doorway, the pulmonary valve is supposed to close shut and prevent any blood from regurgitating back into the ventricle. Um, when I was born with this, this heart defect, the valve didn't work too well. It wouldn't open all the way, so none of the blood could even get through the doorway to get to the lungs. So the doctor removed the valve, and I had, my heart was already a little bit enlarged when I was born. So um, what that means is that I've had a pretty healthy and happy life. Um, I've been kind of restricted on some of the exercise things I've done since I was growing up. But I did play sports and, you know, relatively active lifestyle, you know, hiking and camping and played uh, baseball as a kid and lacrosse. I didn't really play. I thought I played lacrosse, but I just kind of sat there and let the ball hit me a lot. So um, it was, uh, it's been a good, it's been a good thing dealing with it for all these years. Um, but at this point, uh, over the past year or so, the, the different uh, symptoms that I've, I've had are starting to increase in frequency and it's uh, time to do something about it. What kind of symptoms have I been experiencing? Well, I, I get really tired. I walk up the stairs and I'm out of breath and I, I really can't do anything about it. Um, I have these palpitations, which are recurring more frequently. In the, when I was a kid, I used to have them once every year or so, and now I'm having them almost monthly. And it's basically like a couple butterflies that are jousting in your rib cage. They're just kind of fluttering around. That's what it feels like. And it is a wicked, weird feeling to have to deal with. Um, and then the last thing I've been having over the past couple weeks is numbness in my fingertips and my toes. And it is super scary when it just you just go numb for no apparent reason. So, uh, for the past six months, been working with my doctor. Um, so there's been a specialist involved and the surgeon involved. And after a bunch of different tests, blood tests, echocardiograms, EKGs, MRI, uh, it's time to do something about it. Um, so in the next couple days, I'm going to have a new valve put in where I have not had one. Um, the valve I'm going to have is going to be a tissue valve in a stint. And it's going to be either a cow valve or a pig valve, something like that. Um, and I should be okay. It's just going to be a... the recovery is going to suck. Uh, so what I really want to do is, is document the the whole recovery procedure and and that's kind of my modus operandi for this this whole vlog thing now what I really had hoped that happen would be instead of having an open heart surgery that I'd have a transcatheter procedure and what that means is the doctors would go in through my neck or they go in through my leg in one of the arteries and using a stint which is like a little mesh tube and they'd have a valve in there and they insert it through the arteries get all the way up to the heart and then they'd use like an angioplasty little balloon and expand it into place and it's almost like a outpatient procedure. I mean I'd be able to walk out the next day kind of thing. That's how amazing some of the techniques they have these days are. Um, unfortunately this time it's it's got to be open heart. It's almost like I feel like it's almost like million paving of the roads you know when you see crews out there grinding down the road so they can lay new asphalt and stuff. That's kind of what has to happen, I think, uh, this time around. Um, one of the things that kind of stinks is that these valves don't last forever. They only have a 10 or 15 year expectancy. So in 10 or 15 years, I'm gonna have to have another valve replacement procedure. The good thing is, after this first open heart uh, valve replacement, the next one should be a transcatheter procedure. I won't have to go through the crazy recovery that I'm going to have to deal with in the next couple weeks. So I'm excited about that. Uh, we'll just hopefully, you know, we'll worry about that when we get to that point. 
So why am I doing this vlog? Um, there's a couple reasons. You know, I, when I found out I was going to have this procedure, I would start scouring the internet looking for different kinds of um, you know, background information, trying to understand what it was going to be like. And I found a couple people that have done really amazing vlogs on YouTube, and I thought it was a what a great way to kind of see almost like ground zero what it's like to go through those procedures. And I figured I'd do the same too. Um, just something that could help other people that if you were going to have this surgery and you found my vlog, I'm, I'm so happy. Hopefully this helps you out and answers some of your questions. If you have somebody that's going to have this that's close to you, like a, a friend or a loved one, hopefully this helps out as well. Uh, that's one of the goals for me to do this. The other thing um, is for some family and friends of mine that you know, live out of town, they don't get a chance to see me. Uh, I wanted to give them some kind of visual uh, updates on how I'm doing. So, and all you guys, thank you so much for your support. I've, I've gotten a lot of people saying just amazing things to, you know, to back me up on this, which is awesome. I mean, I'm pretty pumped about it. It's, it's fantastic. Um, the third reason why I'm doing a vlog is I, I need to have some kind of creative outlet. And um, I, I like to play the guitar. I, I mean, I suck at it. I'm horrible at, at playing music. I like to listen to lots of music. Music is a big passion of mine. But uh, one of the conditions from the surgery is that I'm not going to be able to lift anything, you know, anything greater than 10 pounds. Um, I'm going to be pretty messed up for a while. So I want to be able to do something that I can have some kind of creative outlet. And I mean, obviously, it's very cathartic to talk about how your mom doing and, and put it on video and, and such. But um, this will be a good way to kind of keep me occupied and keep me out of uh, the hair of my family. Um, so. As far as the actual procedure goes, um, I, I've been thinking about it for you know the past month and two months when I really found out that I was going to have to have it done, and it's hard not to think about it. I mean, you think about it all the time. Um, am I worried? Not particularly. I've had a couple of times where I've just been you know I've had like a moment of freak out anxiety, but um, it's not as bad as I thought. I, I know I have a good doctor. I have a good surgeon who was recommended. It's at a good. It's a good facility where the hospital where I'm going to have the surgery done, and everybody's been really supportive and professional, and I feel good about this procedure. And it's a procedure that happens a lot, actually, more than you would think. So um, it's not some kind of weird experimental procedure. Um, so that's also kind of calming to the nerves. Um, now, what's going to happen is when I go into the surgery, I've already. As you can see, I got my little wristband. I, I've done the pre-op uh, meetings and blood work and x-rays and all that kind of stuff. And when I go in, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be in there for a four-hour surgery. They're going to cut me open. I'm going to have chest tubes, uh, intubated with a breathing tube, all that kind of nasty stuff. And it's about a four-hour surgery. They're going to put the new valve in, the tissue valve. And um, I'll go right into the ICU after that and be on intensive care for about a day. And then I'll be in the hospital for about three to six days after that recovering. And then when I walk out, I'll be home for three to six weeks. Um, I'm not going to be able to drive for four weeks. I'm going to have to have people take care of me for, you know, 24-7 kind of thing for the first couple weeks. Uh, my parents, God bless them, they're going to come and, and watch after me. Uh, for a while. We're going to get each other's nerves. God, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Hopefully that's some comedic relief for the, the vlog, um, but they're, they're super cool for coming and taking care of me, and I really do appreciate that. And then after I, I finish that three to six kind of convalescence period at home, I can go back to work, and it'll be a part-time basis uh, a couple days a week until I'm back up to speed. Hopefully in about six months, everything will be healed. My chest will be, the, the breastplate will be fused back together, healed up. The new valve will be working fine, no issues, and I'll feel a lot better. I'll have some, the, a reduction in those symptoms that I've had in the past year or so. Um, one of the, the coolest things, I was talking to my doctor and I said, you know, doc, I, not being a very um, really physical person, growing up, you know, being allowed to run, at, at one point a couple years ago, I was you know, running every day or every other day and I was doing so many minute miles and so many miles in my runs. I was actually right. I'd never been able to do that before. And he told me, you know, that's where we want to get you back to. So I am looking forward to that and kind of, you know, getting 
in a better shape and a very healthy physical lifestyle. Um, so what are my expectations for this particular vlog? They're pretty low, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've never done anything like this before. The production value is gonna suck ass. It's, there's no, you know, there's not gonna be any jump cuts uh, for the first couple times or, or music or anything like that. I, I, I bought this bloody camera and some stupid <laughs> video editing software I don't know how to use, but I'm gonna be learning on the go, so maybe I'll get better at it. Maybe I'll learn how to use some of the tools and, and have a very nice little record of the whole procedure. Um, just so you guys know, I'm not going to be very clinical about what I discuss. I'm going to try and make it in layman's terms so you know everybody can understand what's going on. And I'm going to talk about everything as real as I can. Like, like for instance, what does it feel like to to uh, have the surgery? What are you going to go through? What are my thoughts? What are my feelings? What's it going to feel like to have chest tubes removed? Oh, ugh, that's disgusting. But I'm going to try and tell you the best I can. Uh, what it feels like so um, yeah I, 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 I really appreciate the support I'm gonna be my be myself um, which means I swear a lot so I apologize right up front um, and I make inappropriate jokes when I'm nervous uh, and some of them don't make sense and I quote movies a lot like I'm like most guys so uh, hopefully it'll be entertaining and um, informational and really a, a, a appreciate the opportunity to do this and uh, I'll try to I'll try to upload vlogs as often as I can it just depends on how I feel and, and how I get along with it so this is number one I really appreciate you stopping by thank you so much hope to see you soon and take care thanks <laughs>